Was there anything in particular that helped or hindered your readjustment to being a civilian? Um, I think it was just the the major difference, you know, when I started dealing with agencies outside of the military. Uh, there's there was there seems to be a di- huge disconnect and 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 a lot of folks are talking about it still the the culture of the work ethic um you know in the military it's you're given you give or give or you're given orders and you know you uh come up with solutions to the problems and you go about your business and get the work done and conduct the mission uh, but it seemed like in in the civilian realm you know finding folks that were very customer oriented or were in it for the mission and, um, you know, not necessarily a financial issue, um, but from a standpoint of just accountability, there just seems to be no accountability. Um, and that's, that's hard to deal with from a military perspective when you, you know, you're a hundred percent accountable when you're in the military. I mean, the military is still, even though it argues it's not, it's still a one fault military. You know, if you do one thing that, uh, changes your career path or changes your your environment and the culture in the military you're pretty much done you can you can you know start packing your bags but in the civilian realm it just seemed like you know that was a lot of companies doing the the lowest common denominator or or paying the lowest amount of money and um you know not hiring in quality um not hiring the work ethic and you know when you're dealing with that it's very difficult for us for a military retiree or separation to, to deal with uh, um, a pace that's that's not on par with you know the fast pace that we're used to working in.